The plant I have here is called Siphostemma pacipus, and pachy usually means thick, and I'm assuming that it's meaning this caudex system right here, this like caudex, a swollen base that you have. Now this plant I've found is deciduous. So in the winter months, it actually goes dormant and it loses its leaves. So it just looks like a swollen base and a stem, which is probably not interesting for most people, but I do have a lot of caudiciforms or caudex plants that have the swollen base that are deciduous. So if you're interested in those types of plants, then I would say that you kind of have to get over the fact that sometimes it just loses its leaves during the dormant season. So I wanted to highlight this during a time when it actually had its leaves and you could see that it's actually a vining plant. So this is native to Madagascar and you could see that even though it has this really kind of um, tough base, swollen base right here, that it actually has these kind of dainty, delicate vines. So this will start to tendril and grab on anything that it's around. And this has gone under a little bit more of thrips pressure. So I don't know if you know what thrips are, if you've watched my pest management episodes, but thrips are a type of insect that have a little scraping mouth part. So sometimes you might actually see some of these leaves might not look as lustrous as they typically would. But otherwise, um, the thrips I think I've gotten under somewhat control in my house. And you could see that the plant is putting out some really nice new leaves. And you can see also it has a little bit of red underside, if I could just show you right there, just ever so slightly. So you could see that. Now this plant I have growing in a very well draining mixture. So if you give this a little bit more of like a limestone-y kind of mixture, so if you have crushed up egg, uh, crushed up egg shells or a little bit more oyster shells, succulent mixture using a lot of perlite, you could use a little bit more of a bonsai mixture, succulent soil, any of that is going to be perfect for this plant because you don't want it sitting in water. This likes a lot of intense light, so I have this kind of growing a little bit under my southwest facing window. So I think if I had it growing directly in my southwest facing window, it'd be totally fine for this plant. Oftentimes when you have caudiciforms, what you'd like to typically do is you want to have this obviously this base above the soil substrate but you sometimes want to have like more sun on this and less sun on the caudex so if that's possible in any way sometimes i will plant them a little bit further down in the planter just to kind of protect the co the, the caudex from getting too bright of light because really you want the light to be focused on the leaves and not necessarily the caudiciform um, what else can I say? Fertilizing, you know, these plants are going to just feed during their growing season and you could use a little bit more of a succulent mixture and you could do that on a more monthly basis. So 247, 347, 011, 122, any of those are great succulent fertilizers. And you're gonna water it in relation to the light that you're giving it. So if you're gonna give it a lot of intense light, you're probably gonna water it more regularly. But if you have a less well-draining mix, then you'll probably water it a little less because you wanna make sure that the water drains out very well. And if you're giving it just a more peaty mixture, then it's probably going to hold on to the water a little bit more. But otherwise, awesome plant if you don't mind it losing its leaves during the dormant season.